Hello Bahamas, we're about to pray for the Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today on behalf of the Prime Minister of the Bahamas, the Right Honorable Hubert Ingram. We pray today first for a blessing on him and his household. We pray that you direct him, that you abide in him, and first things first, that you bless his relationship with you, that you make his personal relationship with you thrive, and that he puts you first above everything else. For while it is an important task to lead a country, it is a far more important task to make sure that you and your household are serving the Lord. So first we pray a spiritual blessing for a strong and dedicated relationship with the Prime Minister and you. Uh, let no one interfere with this bond and let, let this bond, bond grow between the Prime Minister and you, between his wife, his children and you every day until uh, we see you again, Father. Now, we pray for the civil job of the Prime Minister to lead, to govern, to direct the ministers of government. Father, this is truly a, a large or enormous task that one individual has to take on. Truly, it takes a rare individual to lead the country. Many people will always speak about what they believe needs to be done and what should be done. And if they were in power, what would happen? But it is truly a rare person who can actually handle the pressure and get things done. So, Father, we thank you for giving the Prime Minister the talent and the strength to handle the situation and be the man for the job. Father, we pray that the Prime Minister realizes that you put him in power, that you are the one who placed him here, not for himself, not for his ministers, but for the country, for a job to serve the Bahamian public. So, Father, please enable him to truly do this service to the public. Enable him to put all Bahamians, Bahamians equal, from the rich to the poorest, that no individual is forgotten. Father, please direct his mind, as the Prime Minister is an intelligent man and a wise man, still human wisdom has its limits. So Father, we pray that you give him divine wisdom, that you will speak to his heart directly, speak to his mind directly for every uh, political agreement, every political alignment, every decision he needs to make, every meeting that needs to happen, direct him uh, individually. Speak to his heart direct. Let him know that always it is God who shows him the paths to make and not advise or his personal plans, but it is only the plans of God that will prevail. Father, we simply are praying for a blessing on the president so, a blessing on the Prime Minister and that you will direct him and bless him and use him effectively in his service of the country. We pray in Jesus' name.